I think I should be sponsored by Gillette Fusion because I want free razors because it's really sharp. No laughing. Hey guys, how's it going? My name's Shirochi and today I'm going to be helping you with a little, little problem you might have called keyboard turning. Uh, I had this problem in the past. I didn't think it was a problem and you might not either. But uh, if you watched my earlier videos on Jirochi, you can see on my Hunter I keyboard turned when I was raiding, PvPing. And if you go to my other channel, Mob Grip One, you'll see on my Warrior I used to keyboard turn all the time. Now, um, when you're playing a ranged in PvP, you can get away with it. When you're playing a melee, you absolutely cannot. You can easily, because the way people can just get around you if they're mouse turning, they can easily just get around you and there's nothing you can do about it. And it's really hard as melee. In PvE, you can get away with keyboard turning really easily. Not as much keyboard turning and clicking. I, key, I used to keyboard turn, but I did have a lot of my things bound. So uh, a lot of people, though, they have a problem with keyboard turning and clicking, and we're going to address that today. So that's why you should, just because in PvP you will be much, much better. You can improve your PvP power by like 5% or something. So the easiest way to do this is to make a completely new character, just because uh, you're going to have a little, you're going to only have a couple spells and it progresses as you go along. So it's not like you just get, when I first did this, I, when I first tried to convert from keyboard turning to mouse turning, I uh, just used term flooding. I just completely unbound everything, rebound everything to how uh, somebody told me how I should mouse turn. And I sucked so bad just because I didn't know, I didn't remember where anything was and like it was just so hard to do. So uh, make a new character. It can be a new class. It can be the same class as you want to PVP on. Uh, doesn't really matter. And uh, and it's just so much easier just because you have such few spells at first. You don't have 40 spells. You have three. And then the other thing is you'll progress and get all your spells back. So it gradually just introduces you to mouse turning. Now the way I did this was I kept all my original movement buttons that Blizzard provides you with. So QWE SAD or ASD. I just left those all alone just in case I ever wanted to go back to keyboard turning. But I guarantee you, you won't after you do this you're not going to go back but I just leave them out just because if I ever wanted to go back I could and if you ever kind of get a mental lapse and you try keyboard turning in like a really important scenario uh, you can so just I just leave them as is because you're going to have a lot of binds to work with anyway so um, the different binds I use uh, at first you want to bind RFC those are going to be your main spells those are going to be on a rogue sinister strike I don't know uh, on a hunter, kill command, and arcane shot. So, R is the one that I spam all the time. So, on my warrior, that's bloodthirst. Um, F I bind as has a little bit of a cooldown, or you only can use it in certain situations. Like my warrior, um, that's raging blow. Only can be enraged. So, R is you spam all the time. F is sort of situational, or maybe has like a six second cooldown. Um, C is one. That a lot of times I like to put as a rage dump or a arcane, I mean, focus dump, anything like that. But R and C should be similar. Um, shift R, I always bind as a slow. So on my warrior, that's hamstring. On my hunter, that's concussive shot. On my boomkin, that is roots. Anything like that. And try to keep them similar if you're going to be going across different types of characters just because your brain will remember, oh, shift R is slow. It doesn't remember if it's hamstring or not. Doesn't doesn't matter. Um, shift F. I bind that as a spell that has a bigger cooldown, um, maybe one minute. So my war that's uh, Blade Storm, my Hunter that is Binding Shot has a 45 second cooldown. Uh, try to keep that similar too. <coughs> I like to bind that as a small CD. Shift C I bind as um, an AOE, just because if you kind of line your fingers up while you're pressing W and Shift C at the same time, you only can be really pressing Shift C. You really can't be. Uh, pressing A or D or Q and E at the same time. So you want Shift C as something you don't use while you're moving too often. Or if you are moving, you're just moving forward. So an AOE to Shift C is perfect. Now Control R, I used to have bound as Heroic Strike, anymore of it as Heroic Throw. That's a little bit of a hard one to hit. Um, you should bind that as something. You will just be moving straight while you're using it because it'll be hard to be hitting A or D at the same time as Control R. So bind that as something that you're not going to be using too often. T 
T, I have bound us all my executes across all my characters. So on my warrior, it's execute, hunter, kill shot. That's an easy button to hit. And when you do need it, you don't need to hit it too often, but when you do, you can hit it really easily. G, I have bound as victory rush on my warrior. That's kind of a hard one to hit, but you don't use it too often. But when you do want to use it, it's right there, really easy. Now that covers about 10 main spells. Oh, and I also like to bind one and two on uh, my main action bar. One should be something you don't use too often. My warrior, that's charge. Um, you use that once every 12 seconds. It's a little awkward to hit, so you don't want it as something major. A lot of times I like to use it as something to open up um, a battle or open get into PvP. Um, two, I have bound on my warrior as enrage or er, uh, berserker rage because if you notice, it's kind of hard to hit W and two at the same time. So uh, I bind that as two because when are you gonna ever be having to hit W when you're being feared or when you're being sapped? You don't. So bind that as two. Now that covers pretty much ten major spells, and that across all the classes, they most classes have ten major spells that you're always using. Now the rest come down to cooldown, situational stuff, stuns, that sort of thing, um, or interrupts. My favorite interrupt across all my characters is control space bar because the thing about an interrupt is you don't want to ever accidentally hit it. And but the other thing is when you do need to hit it. You want to be able to really easily because a holy pally casting flashlight it can be like a one second cast time and you need to be very reactive to hit that so control space bar is a really nice one to hit just because space bar is huge and control makes it so that you're not always using it when you're jumping so i do like to jump a lot um next i have four bound as i have a fear on uh, my warrior of intimidating shout that's something you're not going to use too often but because of how close that is, you could bind that as one of your main spells if you wanted to. Um, shift 4, I have also bound. I don't have 3 bound just because it's a little awkward to hit where uh, my W is aligned on my keyboard. It's a little awkward to hit. I don't have 3 bound as anything. Shift 4 is an also nice bind. That should be a little bit, maybe a defensive cooldown, that sort of thing. That's a little harder to hit, so it should be something as you're running, something like that. Shift 5 is my garrison ability just because you're. that's kind of hard to hit and you shouldn't ever... Be using that really like spamming that or something i can't reach six because i have baby hands so six and on over i don't have bound at all um outside of that i have my buffs bound as that little tilde before one i have that bound and then um i have that bound as battle shot my warrior and commanding shot i have shift that button so that's a nice buff button you'll never I mean, that's really awkward to hit if you're trying to press W at the same time, so I wouldn't bind it as something in combat. Maybe going to bind your mount as that. That's a nice button to just be able to hit once you're outside of combat. Um, caps Lock is my favorite button to bind to stuns, just because you never need to use Caps Lock outside of typing. And when you are typing, you can hit Caps Lock and you won't stun anything. So I love, I have, um, I have Stormbolt bound as Caps Lock, and um, on my... Hunter, I have Ice Trap bound as Caps Lock. Those I try to keep them all similar, all stuns. Um, you can bind the F1, F2, F3, F4. That's a little harder to hit. I would bind those something like Mount or Buff, something that you're not going to be using in combat. And uh, outside of that goes over to your mouse. Um, I have Middle Mouse button bound as uh, Trinket. That's a really easy button to hit, and um, you'll never accidentally hit it either. So Middle Mouse button right there. Um, my mouse has six buttons, so it has two side buttons. Um, this button I have as all my offensive abilities. They're all bad one macro. You just hit that, boom, you get all your offensive abilities out once. I don't have any variations, any shift control variations bound to this button just because I don't want to ever accidentally hit this without those and pop all my cooldowns all at the same time. So no variations bound to that, just that button. The back button here. I have shift back button as enrage regeneration. That's one you can use really easily. Shift boom, and it's like super easy to use. And then uh, I have control this button as stance. I have a stance switching macro. So these are a little bit situational on the mouse, and uh, my brain kind of remembers it that way. Um, if you have a mouse with multiple buttons, you can buy another stuff, but you do not by any means need a mouse with more than three buttons. All you really need is both mouse buttons and middle mouse button. That's pretty much it. You don't need anything else. I know 
uh, people say, oh, you can't PvP unless you have the Razor Naga. And it's like, no, you don't need that at all. You can easily PvP without that. Um, next, I'll show you how to circle strafe. All right, so if you were mouse turning and clicking, this is what you're pretty much used to seeing. Let's just say this tree stump is your target. So you would turn with this, so Q and D or something. You'd be going a little bit of this, and they get around you, and you're like, uh, 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 and you're like clicking on your spells, and it's just it's just a bad time. So basically, what you want to do now is called circle strafing. So you hold A and go A right mouse button and then just push to the right so it looks like this a right mouse button push to the right just slowly and you just go around your target like that just in a circle no problem there and once you start running out of desk space you do d mouse button to the right now since you have all your stuff bound with your pointer finger, you're going to be going to the left almost always. So when you get to this point, just go back and then just kind of that sort of thing. You never want to get to like the end. You just want to kind of jump back. You'll you'll know what you're doing. I actually have no idea what I'm doing right now, but um, <laughs> once you get that down, you want to start using your spells. So you'd be doing this, a little bit of this, with R and F and C and you know, caps lock, blade store, that sort of thing. And just keep going around your target, just like that. That's circle strafing. If somebody gets around you, you can turn around just like that. Instead of going like this. Oh, now you can attack him. So let's say this little bunny's attacking me. He gets behind me, I'd have to go like this. There, now I can attack him. Where he gets behind me now, now I can attack him. That's all you have to do. So just whichever button you're pressing, pressing A, go away from it. Pressing D, come towards your keyboard. And that's circle strafing. That's all you're going to be doing the rest of your life. So I hope this video helped you. And if you have any suggestions, questions, comments, anything, just leave a comment below. And I'll get to them in a second. And now here's how it should look. 